Hey guys, this is Psychic Tracy Brown. I'll put my glasses on for this one because if you guys know me, i got to separate one video from the next. Um, Mariah and Nick. Ugh, I'm exhausted. What happened? Now, there's already been so much stuff out there. I don't know what I can see from a predictive place um, what happened to you guys. I, I don't know if I can see it, but I'll try. The bottom line is they're living in separate quarters and Nick said that, oh my god Nick Nick said that um, Mariah's crazy Nick <laughs> oh man Nick um, Mariah has put a gag order on Nick I don't know if you can actually put a gag order on Nick Mariah good luck with that Good luck with that. Um, so, what is around Mariah Carey and Nick Cannon? And, you know, could they could they get back together? Like, what's the hope for them? Mariah Carey and Nick Cannon. What happened? Talk to me. What happened? Please, God, please, in Jesus' name, help me figure out what went wrong here. Please, God. Two there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Believe it. Let's see if I can figure out what happened, guys. Only a minute in. Um, a lot of crying spells, a lot of emotions, a lot of you know, Mariah's emotional from in here, and she's emotional about everything. You know, if the chocolate didn't melt right on the ice cream, it was it's a tragedy. That's what I'm getting, guys. It's a tragedy. She's emotional about everything. Everything. Um, you know, a paper cut. She's emotional about. And, and I think she's worse than her own two children. That's what I'm thinking. Mariah, I do see where... You know, I send everybody to rehab. I really do on my readings. But I think you really are going to need to have what you could consider a vacation, but it's a, it's a special vacation. Um, it's really rehab. Seriously. Um, I think there's a come to Jesus moment with you, Mariah, where, where you get it. Like, all of a sudden, you get it. You, you pull this one out of the hat. You do. You, you come out of this. Um, Maybe not the same, this marriage, this, you know, this disposal of the marriage. Maybe not the same, but ironically, you do, you know, you are capable of coming out of this. Um, be careful with getting, like, intertwined with all the media stuff, Mariah, because it's having an adverse effect. It just is. You know, if Nick wants to spew whatever he wants to spew, let him. It would be better if you just shut it down. You would look better if you would just shut it down. And you definitely would look better in the courts. The partnership has definitely been dissolved. Nick feels so much better about it. Um, gotta tell you, I, it's my understanding that you guys have been separated since May. But I don't think you guys have been having sex either for a year. Something is wrong. Sorry. And I just got a headache from that. Ugh. All right, just got a headache from that. Um, sometimes I get dizzy when I do my readings. Because they're accurate. Because <laughs> they're so accurate, I get dizzy. Um, Mariah. <laughs> Mariah. You're a screamer. You're a yeller. You're emotional. You're fiery. Like, there's not a moment's peace in that house. Not a moment's peace. So... Nick said that you were crazy, and I'm giving a little bit more of what crazy means. Um, you just don't stop. In your own house, you just don't stop. So, sad. Really is sad. Really is. Um, too much fighting. Way too much fighting. You know, I did hear that you don't like it when Nick goes away. Um, Nick has definitely established himself as a viable entertainer. And good for him, rather than be your concubine. Um, he was really, really smart about um, creating his own life. 
and his life, he kind of has to go away. Like, I know America's Got Talent is in New York right now. Um, I would say if you weren't working, you should have traveled with him, but I also think that he didn't want you to travel with him because working and going away gives him some peace. <laughs> He's happy. <laughs> um, money shows up here, Mariah. Money shows up. And I'll tell you why money shows up. Money shows up because money is going to be your problem in a minute. Mariah, you spend way too much money. Um, at this stage of the game, what's going to happen is, you know, I feel like the divorce is imminent. Yeah. Yeah. If it, cause, and it's, it's going to be imminent because of you. Sorry, Mariah. Um, I feel like the divorce is imminent, but I also think that you have a lot of money right now. Um, or is it perception of money? And I'm talking about your money, not Nick's money. But right now you have a lot of money. Or maybe the both of you. Right now, there's a lot of money. Uh, Nick is going to pull his money in a minute. He really is. He really is. Um, <clears throat> and part of pulling the money is to get you to calm down, get you to stop spending, get you to calm down. Um, there's going to be some, like, battle with money and then a truce over money. And then you guys are going to have to decide how money will be given. You know, if you could just, you know, you're, you're all emotion, all water, all fiery. I don't even know what your sign is, and, you, and I love you. You think I would know that. Can I look up your sign? I wonder if you're a fire sign. If you're not a fire sign, you have to be a water sign. You just have to be. One or the two. Or, or maybe a mix. Maybe a mix of something. In any case, um, Nick was forced to leave. I don't think he... 100% wanted to do it, he was forced to do it. Um, I think that Nick is insinuating that you need some mental confinement. Um, and I, I'm thinking that he's hoping that that, that will occur. Um, yeah. Yeah, you guys are done. You guys are done. He was forced to go on his journey. Um, and and I also feel like he had to find the strength to do it on top of it. Like he had to go. Nick, are you a cheater? <laughs> on top of everything else, are you, do you cheat? Um, hmm. Um... Hmm, here's what I'm getting. I'm, you know, I'm getting, I don't know if it's about cheating. I think you guys haven't slept with each other in a year. Um, you know, I get a yes because you're married and you guys have not had relations I get for a year, let alone um, having had left in May. So when I say a year, I mean that that includes May. So from, from like today to last year, um, there's been some problems in your uh, sex life. Um, so with that being said, have you cheated? Um, you know, that's a broad question. I have to say yes, yes, but but not in the way anybody thinks. It might have been cheating for relief, not cheating for love. It's still cheating. <laughs> Nick, I like you. Um, Mariah, Here's the problem. You're crazy. Seriously. I don't know how to say this any other way. And you're going to show it more and more and more. Because you're going to show it more because it's kind of like you don't know it. And you think you're right. And you want to put a gag order on Nick. I get that, which is smart. But it's part of your diva. It's part of your control. And it just works against you. Um... I think I'm going to end this here. I really don't know what else I can say. Let's see if you guys are going to get back together one day. No. No. Funny, I don't quite see a legal issue going on just yet. So they actually could wind up being separated for a minute. Um, as opposed to getting a divorce right now. I think the separation could go on 
for for quite some time, but could they ever get back together again? I don't see it, guys. All right, I did 10 minutes on um, whatever I did. Mariah and Nick Cannon. Sorry, guys, you're going through this trouble, but subscribe to me, people. You know, follow me on Twitter at Pop Culture Psychic. And call me for your own personal readings. Um, I go into details with the celebrities, so imagine what I could do for you. 818-985-2010. 818-985-2010. Thanks, guys. Bye.